SIFT's four-way forecast is a powerful tool which allows you to create an integrated forecast across the profit and loss statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, financial ratios, and even connections. A four-way forecast ensures that all financial statements are linked and any changes to the profit and loss statement, for instance, will carry through to the balance sheet, cash flow statements, and ratios and vice versa. Not only does this tool create integrated forecasts, but it goes beyond numbers, allowing businesses to include their business plans and expectations in the forecast. This tool is incredibly useful in cases such as a loan application in which the bank requests forecasted financials. Here, SIFT's four-way forecast will create a forecasted profit and loss statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statements, which all link up with one another. So you can go and download this forecast and send it off to the bank. Overall, the four-way forecast from SIFT empowers accountants and businesses to create robust, transparent, and integrated forecasts catering to the needs of management teams, clients, investors, and financial institutions. We are now going to make adjustments to the forecast. So forecasting adjustments are things that you can expect to happen in the future which will impact your financial position. There are an infinite number of options for forecasting adjustments, however, any adjustment you make should be specific to your business, your business plans, and expectations. A typical example of a plans include hiring a new team member, or introducing a new product, or even buying a new vehicle. So to start off, we are going to create an adjustment in the profit and loss statement. So to add an adjustment, simply click on the account you want to adjust to access them. Now you are able to create once-off adjustments as well as recurring adjustments. So for example, a once-off adjustment are adjustments that affect a single period, say only December 2023 or if it is a quarter it would be a single quarter or a single year. Now you can make these adjustments by clicking either add adjustment or alternatively you can edit any figure directly on the financial statement. So say baking lessons were 800 in December there's the adjustment. Now, this adjustment has only been made for December. However, if we would like it to be a recurring adjustment, you can click this arrow and then you will be taken to this add adjustment box. As you can see, the account that we want to adjust has already been selected. Then you are able to add a description to it baking lesson increased for example then you are able to say which start date it occurred and then the duration of the adjustment so here as I said earlier it can be a recurring adjustment until the end of the forecast or you are able to select an end date or a number of intervals, etc. So I'm just going to toggle on until the end of the forecast. Now, under this impact tab, you are able to populate the adjustment with either a new value or the value could increase, decrease, it could increase on a prior value, decrease on a prior value, or you are able to add a formulae. So for this one I am just going to say it's going to increase say by a percentage of 2% per 
per month, for example. And save. So once you have created an adjustment, it will be displayed in the account in question. So as you can see, there's an adjustment there and the adjustment there. So you will be able to identify it by the set of up and down arrows next to the account over here. Here, you will see more information about each of the adjustment, including its frequency and who added it. Also, within each account, you can now see your forecasting adjustments represented by a line graph. You can then drill down into the details for each category and click on any points along the graph to see their values. As you can see, you can see the different values. SIFT will graph both the base case forecast as well as the forecast with adjustments so that you can visually see the impact of the adjustment. And as always, you have the ability to toggle on or off the adjustments and you can then compare the adjusted data to other scenarios. Adjustments are also useful if you choose to export the forecast to PDF as it serves as a trail of forecasting changes that your team, your clients, investors or even your bank can read through. Always remember to save. Just a couple of notes, SIFT automatically creates a contra account adjustment to your bank to balance your balance sheet. However, this will not always be correct. So for instance, not every sale made is cash. So you may want to add a matching adjustment in accounts receivable if the sales are on credit to move the contra from bank to accounts receivable or the correct account. Another note is that you cannot adjust your categories, your groups, or even your totals. You need to adjust each account where the changes occur. And just remember, any change in the profit and loss will pull through to your balance sheet, to your cash flow statements, etc. That is the beauty of SIFT.